Hey, everybody, it's Ron Sheets, and uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm really excited to introduce you to somebody that I've known for probably 15 or more years. Um, this stylish, handsome guy that you see on the screen there with the uh, flashy, flashy shirt. There's nobody that has, I have ever known to outclass or outdress Ted Thomas. Um, Ted is a classy guy, and as long as I've known Ted, Ted's been doing the same thing in the business as long as I've known him. And that's an important lesson. So for today, I've asked Ted to join us and talk about what it is he's been doing for the last 30 years. Um, as you know, uh, we've worked together and there's a lot of people that I have made a lot of money. And one of the things that's very, very important in any business, especially in today's economy, is to have multiple streams of income. And Ted's gonna to talk to us about something today that I think a lot of people don't know about. I didn't know about it until I had met Ted and heard him talk about it. So I've asked Ted to, to come on and, and talk to us about it uh, and share you know, his knowledge and his experience. Because if you're on this uh, video, if you're watching us now, you are an entrepreneur, you're open-minded, you are interested in multiple streams of income, and you are looking for what works. Because like me, you don't have a lot of time to fool around with things that don't work. So uh, let's start off, Ted. I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you. And hi, everyone. And uh, you know, no one's mentioned multiple streams of income for a while. I have to tell you, I wrote chapter 10 in that book. Yep. That was a bestseller in the 70s and 80s. And uh, oh my goodness, we did millions and millions of dollars worth of business because of multiple streams of income. So nice of you to mention that book. I actually pulled it out of my library the other day because I'm going to do a couple of promos about that book, about how we do it. So, so I'm great and I'm glad to be here. And uh, I hope it's nice and warm and toasty where you are because it's, it's about 70 <laughs> degrees here. Yeah. It's not. It's about 10 degrees here in Cleveland, Ohio, but um, that's okay. We, it's, that's what yeah. heat's for. That's what, the, that's what the house is for. So yeah. um, why don't we jump right in? Because uh, your time is valuable, sure. Ted. Uh, why don't you tell people about what it is that you do and the kind of returns that your students have been getting? Because I know when I mention it to people, they're kind of in disbelief that it's possible to do what you've been doing and actually make the kind of money that you, that you do. So can you tell my audience a little right. bit about your business? Okay. All right, folks. Well, first of all, welcome. And uh, I've been doing the same thing for the last 30 years. And what is the same thing? The same thing is tax defaulted property and tax lien certificates. Now, those are two different businesses. So let me just explain. Nationwide, we have 3,000 plus counties. Every county has the responsibility to collect property tax, property tax, not income tax, not sales tax, property tax, from the residents or people that own property. So the legislature of all the states has said the same thing. You must pay property tax. Now it's not a lot of money. It's one, two or 3%, depending upon where you are, so not a lot. All right, now it turns out we have a hundred million properties in the United States, a hundred million. Okay, two or 3% of those are going to go into some kind of default and not pay the tax. All right, so if you happen to be in, I'll use Florida and I'll use Ohio. I'm gonna do two of an example. So in Florida, if you didn't pay your tax, what the local governor is going to do is he's going to tell the, all the counties, look, you have to collect tax. So the county treasurer is going to send you a notice and say, look, you have to pay tax. So you guys are familiar with that. Now, if you don't pay the tax, they're going to slap your hand. All they're going to do is slap your hand. You're not going to lose your property. They are going to issue a tax lien certificate. Nothing more than like a piece of paper, like I'm holding up. They're going to issue that certificate, which simply means that certificate attaches to your house that you owe money like a mortgage. All right. But anybody in the world that wants to pay your tax, the local government will take the money. And what they'll do is they'll sell you this piece of paper. So you can buy, if I don't pay my tax, you can buy this tax lien certificate on my house. Now, why would you ever want to buy my tax? Well, here's why you'd want to do that. Because when I go to pay my tax, and by the way, 97, 98% of the people will pay the tax. When I go to pay, I have to pay the tax. And just like master charge, when you're late, you pay a penalty. And in Florida, the penalty is all the way up to 18%. All right, now half of the states in the United States sell tax lien certificates. Now, before you go any further, stop worrying about giving Ted Thomas any money. You can't give me any money. This investment is not with me. I'm a teacher, I'm an educator, I'm an author, and I'm an investor, I'm more, more investor than anything else. 
So when you do buy tax certificates, you invest with the government, you're going to get a check back from the government. Let me say it again. You're going to invest with the government, you're going to get a check from, back from there. That's going to make it predictable, certain, and secure. Now, that's a tax lien certificate. All right. Now, the other half of the states, let's call Ohio, New York, California, they're not so benevolent as Florida. They say, wait a minute. If you don't pay your tax and you live in Columbus or you live in Cleveland, they're going to say, oh, you didn't pay your tax. The treasurer has the power to confiscate your property. Now, the treasurer doesn't want any more property. But believe me, Cleveland owns enough schools and enough parks and enough whatever. So Cuyahoga County doesn't want any more of those. So what they do is they sell that property for the back taxes. Now, I know you don't believe this, but those properties, the starting bid is the back taxes. So let's say they sell them for 10 cents or 20 cents on the dollar. You can buy properties. I've done it myself and I bought those properties all over the United States. They, they sell these properties for 10 cents on the dollar. And whatever you, whatever you sell them for, you're doing fine. All right, so two businesses we're going to discuss over the next few days. We'll discuss it a few minutes. One is tax lien certificates and one is tax ease. You, as the investor, can do both because I'm going to teach you how to do it. Now, when I learned, I used to have black hair and I used to be skinny. And in those days, everything was mechanical. You can't do that anymore. Now you can go to the auction and do it physically. Uh, but if you want, you can do it online. So I can buy in Ohio online. Or you can buy, if you're in Ohio and you want to buy in Florida, you can buy it online. So I teach you both ways. Two businesses to learn about. They're both a piece of cake. Every word that comes out of my mouth is from a 200-year-old system. Everything I'm going to tell you is 200 years old. I didn't invent it. I just learned how to do it. And for 30 years, I've been teaching people like Ron would introduce me to, which we're doing today. I'm getting an introduction to you because of Ron. Because if I go out and tell the public this, they say, oh, no, we don't believe you. But everything I say, you can go to your county, ask for the treasurer and say, are you going to, if I don't pay, you're going to take my property away? If you're in Ohio, they are. If you're in Florida, they're going to say, no, no, we're going to issue a tax certificate. So there you go. All right. So, why don't we dig in a little bit deeper in that? Because you, you've kind of covered the, but can you explain how the tax lien certificates work? Here's what happens. If, the, if, you, don't pay, if you don't pay the taxes, I got a desk over here and I'm just going to reach over here and I'm going to get a couple of documents, okay? If you don't pay the taxes, what's going to happen is they're going to publish in the newspaper. And this is a little newspaper from, from Jacksonville, Florida, okay? Just a regular newspaper from Jacksonville. They're going to publish in the newspaper a list of all the people that didn't pay. There's 30,000 people in Jacksonville did not pay their tax. I can go to this newspaper, look it up, and I can pay the tax on any one of those nationwide. If I do, the local government is going to send me a certificate. I just hold the certificate. I don't have any work to do. I just hold the certificate until you come in and pay. 97, 98% of the people will pay. Okay. That's simple. So, so you showed a newspaper there and so forth, and you talked about auctions and you mentioned that, but is this something that can be done online? Everything can be done online. Everything I say today can be done online. Now, that, that took a number of years to, to come online, but uh, for 10 years, uh, we've been teaching people how to do it online. I can teach you sitting where you're sitting right now. You got a computer somewhere in that desk. I've got an external drive. I can plug it in and I can access every property in the United States. Every property, night. and I can teach every student how to do the exact same thing. Okay, so That's pretty amazing. So you talked about the tax certificates, and that is right. there a difference then from the tax certificates to tax defaulted property, or are they one and the same? Help me understand that. Oh, there's two different businesses here. So I have a property in Florida, and if I don't pay the tax, they're going to okay. issue a piece of paper. You own a property in uh, in uh, say Columbus or Cleveland, Cleveland. You own a property in Cleveland. All right, now in Cleveland, if you don't pay the tax, what they're going to do is they're going to issue a notice of default and tell you if you don't pay the tax in so many days, they're going to confiscate. That means they're going to seize the property, boot you out of the property, and then they're going to sell it at a public auction. Now, I have attended the public auction in Cuyahoga County many times. They will have 200 to 400 properties once a year that they'll sell just in Cuyahoga County. Every other county in the state will have properties on different days to sell. They will actually sell, physically sell that property. I mean, I've, I used to fly from, it's only two hours basically from, from Orlando to Cleveland. And I'd go there, go to the, I'd go the night before, be at the auction, I'd be home the next night. 
That yeah. was the old days. Now you can do that all online. Yeah, yeah. So is the government actually taking people's property away from them? They're taking their houses? Well, tax lien certificates did not take anybody's property away. Tax lien certificate, very benevolent. The people, when they have a tax default in a tax lien state, they're staying in the property. In a, in a tax default in state, uh, California, New York, uh, Ohio, they're actually going to lose their property. Is it, is it a, so getting into this, is it a complicated business? So is the tax certificate defaults, is it a complicated business to, to deal with? No, 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 no. This is, this is easy stuff. Uh, actually, what's amazing about this is everything that I talk about was created 200 years ago. I only discovered it after I was an adult person and I kept pushing it away. I don't want to know about tax properties and all that. But then when I started to look at it and I realized, wait a minute, uh, Cuyahoga County is going to sell 200 properties and the starting bid will be the back taxes. All right, so let's take the west side of, of that county. The west side of that county, some of those properties are worth a half a million, $2 million. They're going to sell, starting bid is the back taxes. Now on the east side, there's properties worth only $100,000. They're still going to start at the back taxes. So those properties, those properties have been confiscated and they're going out to the public again. The tax collector only wants to get rid of the property. They don't want the property. They've already got all the parks and schools they want. What they want is the revenue from that. They're in the revenue business. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So at the start of this, I talked about, I you know, hinted at the idea of multiple streams of income and that somebody can do this as an extra stream of income to their already existing business or, or whatever they're doing. But right. can people that are watching and listening right now, can they make like 25 or even $30,000 on one deal on multiple deals? What's, what's the possibility? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, if you buy a tax default to property, all right, so let's, let's forget about Ohio. Let's forget about uh, uh, Florida. All right. So uh, I've got a couple in Michigan, for example, a couple in Michigan, uh, they, 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 want to buy, they want to buy these properties. Every year, Michigan has 67 counties. There'll be 67 auctions they can go to. All right, let's go to Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm going to show you a video on this. All right, in Phoenix, Arizona, this young couple, they learned what you're learning today, and they decided they wanted to buy tax lien certificates. So they went to the auction. They raised their hand like I'm doing now. And they paid $14,000 for a piece of paper for a tax certificate. All right. Now, that certificate stays on the house until the people pay. Now, tax certificates work this way. When you buy the certificate, there's only two things can happen. This is how simple it is. The question was, is it simple or is it complicated? If you buy a tax certificate, two things can happen. One, the people come in and pay. Well, that's a good thing. What if they don't come in and pay, Ted? If they don't come in and pay, you get the property. All right, so let's go back to Phoenix. So a couple goes in, they put in 14,000. Year later, they expect they're gonna get paid. Now, if Arizona pays 16% on a tax certificate. So they thought they were gonna make 16%, not the 1% at the bank, but 16. So they didn't get paid. So it has to run another year. So the second year, so now they thought they're gonna get 16 and 16. The people didn't pay. So the judge awarded them the property because if you don't get paid, you get the property without a mortgage. Now, what are they gonna do with the property? Well, it turns out I teach all my people, whatever you do, don't buy a property you haven't looked at. Now, why do I say that? Ladies, you all know, you wouldn't marry the guy unless you looked at him, right? Well, don't buy a tax lien or deed without looking at it. What if it was a bad place? It turns out it was a nice condominium on the water. So it was a water facility in, in, in the middle of, of Phoenix, Arizona. And here's the fountains going and they got a condo there. They sold it. I'm going to show you the video in just a second. They sold it, made themselves over $160,000. So watch this couple. They're going to explain everything I explained. They bought a tax certificate. People didn't pay the certificate. They ended up with the property. So they rented it for a little while and they sold it. That's how complicated it is. So watch what happens. It's all going to happen in one minute. Here it is. It's a lot easier than you think it's not it's not so scary once you know okay you can just ask these questions and yeah. we turned to ted we turned to um, all his education we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts this particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion nice enough to actually live in we for were in 11, a total for eleven thousand. both of those and we rented That's that magic. at 1225 for 15 months mm -hmm. yep 
So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Okay, now you just saw it on video. That's just a young couple. They bought a tax certificate and didn't get paid. Now, I'm going to show you other examples before we get done of people that just go buy those properties in other states like Ohio and New York and California where people don't pay. When they don't pay, the government has to do something. They've got to get this property back on the tax roll. See, a defaulted property is going to be an albatross. In other words, it's going to deteriorate, could be fire, could be drug dealers in there, whatever. So they need to get that property resold back into the market. They are not trying to make a profit, so they sell it to back taxes. Wow. Now, you mentioned prior to showing that video with that as an example, you mentioned that they bought the tax certificate. They bought it for $14,000, but can somebody get started for as little as like $500? Oh, absolutely. There's going to be thousands and thousands of tax certificates. Now, folks, I got a desk right beside me. Let me get it. Let me get another list of these now. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go over here and get another example. Okay. All right. Now this one here, this is a newspaper. Now the county has going to have an auction. They put in a newspaper like this, and you can probably read it. This is the Miami Herald, okay? Uh, Miami Times, I'm sorry. All right, they list these. Miami, in Miami, 65,000 people did not pay the tax. It's a regular newspaper. Look at it. It's got, it's got about 40 or 50 pages. All right, so all those certificates are listed there. So some of the certificates are going to be a little sliver of land next to a house. Some of them are going to be just whatever. So you can buy a small one. Uh, taxes are 1% of value, basically. So a $100,000 house is a $1,000 certificate. Uh, a $500,000 house could be at least a $5,000 certificate. So it's, it's really easy to figure out. So you can buy them that small. Now, now, let's wait a minute. Let's be practical. All right. If you're a wannabe and you only got 500 bucks, you probably should put the 500 bucks into a book to learn how to do this. <laughs> Don't put 500 bucks. Because you even if I paid you 20%, now tax certificates in Florida pay 18%, tax certificates in Georgia pay 20%, tax certificates in Illinois pay 36%. If you had 500 bucks and you make 36%, you only made a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. You're getting yeah. my point. That makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. So now, forgive me, I'm gonna play devil's advocate a bit. That's but, fine. So, if a property owner does not pay the tax lien certificate, I mean, are you sure that that person who picked that up, they're going to get the property? All right. I'm so sure that I can have play an attorney video with an attorney sitting there explaining, if you buy a tax certificate and you don't get paid, you will get the property. And that's why I showed you that example. Mm -hmm. That's the law in the United States. It's the law in every county and it's made by the legislature. I don't make the laws. I'm just telling you what it is. Now, for you, it's unbelievable. For me, I've been doing it for 30 years. But you don't have to take my word for it, this white-haired, old, wrinkled-up guy. What you can do if you want to confirm that, you live in a county. I don't know what county you live in, but you can dial up the county treasurer and say, is it possible that someone doesn't pay the tax? What will happen? And they'll say, they will tell you, that whoever owns the tax certificate is going to get the property. And they're going to get the property without a mortgage. The treasurer X's out the mortgage at the auction. They get rid of the mortgage. Wow. You're going to buy properties without a lien, without a mortgage or a deed of trust lien. Those are wiped out by the treasurer. I don't do that. It's the law. Wow. Wow. That's, it's, it's, you know, the old adage is when it's too good to be true, it's not true. But I know that I have seen from your students who have actually taken your courses, I've talked with them, some have been clients of mine, that this really does work. Um, right. And it's legitimate. And like you said, it's 200 years old, and it's right. above board. Now, um, as you said, you're a teacher. 
and I understand you're going to be having a class and I want to be conscious of your time here because we have some others that we're going to do. But as I understand it, that you're going to be doing a class in teaching all of this. When we finish this video right below us, you can register for that class. And uh, I don't give it away, folks. It's six long hours. You can sit at home, you can eat, you can drink, you can go to the necessary room, you can bring your family and watch it, whatever you want. I charge you $47. It'll start at 11 o'clock in the morning and go to six o'clock at night. It will not wow. stop. It's content filled. I've been doing that same uh, class for decades and people, uh, people from, there'll be people from all over the United States, Canada, United Kingdom. There'll even be people from Australia and maybe even Singapore on that call. Wow. That's, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah. um, so it, I'm sure that people still have some questions, uh, even after the sure. short bit that Ted and I've been together, but we've got a couple of more of these videos coming up. So um, we're going to break it from here. Is that okay with you, Ted, if we break it here? and Yeah, uh, that's fine. We can break video? now and uh, we'll come back and uh, we're going to have a series of four of these videos. Uh, cool. If you want to just register right below me. Yeah, so click on the on the link below to register for the class if you're ready to go right now. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna stop it here and we're gonna pick it up on the next video, um, which you'll be getting the email about for that link. So, um, Ted, this is amazing. Uh, I mean, it, everything that you've said. I mean, it's money that's predictable, and there's. It sounds to me like there's literally no risk for the person who is investing in the tax lien certificates or the defaulted properties. Well, I, I don't think um, I can have good conscience in saying there's no risk, but here's what I can't tell you. You're investing with the government, you're getting a check back from the government. That's the best I can do for you. I can't make it any safer than that. Yeah, and that's, that's, a, that's a pretty pretty sure bet. So, right. well, thank you, everybody. So we're going to break it here and watch for the email, and we'll pick it up on the next video. Thanks, Ted.